evening is an Emmy award-winning comedian, best-selling author, and political commentator. Here to give us his perspective on the presidential race, please welcome Al Franken. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Al. My pleasure. I, Always fun to be here. I, I have known you a long time, I've, so I think I can speak freely. A lot of people don't like to reveal their, their politics, but I know you to be a, a Democrat. I am. You are a Democrat. And, uh, okay, it's all right. Nine people in the audience are with you. Uh, uh, did you enjoy the, I want, I want to get your perspective on the Democratic Convention. Did you enjoy it? Did you? Well, not only am I uh, a Democrat, but I'm sort of uh, in Gore's inner circle. For you example, were? well, you know that uh, long, passionate kiss between him and Tipper mm -hmm. right before his speech? It's famous, yeah. That was, that was my idea. <laughs> and uh, not only that, but I demonstrated it for him. For Gore, really? Yeah, not with Tipper. <laughs> uh, with Karenna. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Their older, uh, <laughs> oldest daughter. Yeah. Uh, how did that go over, yeah? Well, the, uh, it was very similar to the kiss they did uh, that you saw on the... Uh, at the convention, the only difference was with uh, Tipper and the vice president, there was, uh, there was less struggling. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it did not end with Tipper kneeing the vice president in the groin. Yeah. And also, he approached her right from right face to face. I kind of <laughs> came from behind. Yeah. And I there was no Secret Service. Those are, yeah, uh, those are good needed. changes I think they made. I, obviously, the bounce, yeah. Yeah, yeah the bounce, bounce. The big mo, as they call it. Now, do you think lately that the press, is it my imagination, or is the press now being more critical of, uh, of W. Bush? Are they, are they going after him a little bit more? Well, I think that since he's now, he's now a little behind in the polls, that uh, this is the press, you know. See, they see some vulnerability there, and they've been really kind of questioning now whether he's ready to be president. And this isn't really fair, because he's, he's been stupid all along. <laughs> uh, this is nothing new, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, th they've been kind of pounding away at some of his uh, verbal mistakes, like he was trying to explain his, uh, his tax cut, his $1.3 trillion tax cut, and he had trouble with billions and trillions, that right. kind of thing. Right, right. And uh, then they've been, uh, some things that he said, and I, I wanted to make sure I got them right. <laughs> um, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a long list there, Al. Well, I'll just do a few of them. To, okay. some, to struggling workers, he said, uh, I know how hard it is to put food on your family. <laughs> it is hard. They move around. And yeah. <laughs> get a long ladle. Um, <laughs> he said this about education. Rarely is the question asked, is our children learning? <laughs> And, you know, he is so right. I, I've almost never heard that question. <laughs> uh, about the economy, he has said uh, we ought to make the pie higher. <laughs> He's evidently a meringue See, no fan. One, yeah. right? <laughs> um, a puffy pie, yeah. Yeah, as a former oil man himself, mm -hmm. Bush said this. He said, I understand small business growth. I was one. <laughs> When did he say all these? Uh, these are, you, you don't During this to... year, he's, okay. he said these things. Uh, in his early days in central Texas, about them, he said, it must have been very exciting. Because right. he said it was inebriating what Midland, <laughs> what Midland finally, was all about then. Finally, the truth, yeah. yeah. Now, are these just, I mean, let's be, uh, these guys are in front of a microphone all the time. Sure. Let's be fair, are these just slips of the tongue, or is it really a question of intelligence, in your opinion? Well, I think it, it's not just intelligence, it's, which I'm sure he's uh, uh, moderately average intelligence. <laughs> um, uh, but he seems to be someone who doesn't have a great deal of intellectual curiosity. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this is one of the reasons he is trying to avoid debating in front of the biggest possible audience. Uh, and he really, kind of, in fact, he's almost bragged about not reading books. He uh, openly said that. Yeah. Um, to give you an example. Um, the American Library Association was is trying, always trying to get children to read, mm -hmm. and so they asked all the uh, candidates during the primaries to give them a list of their first ten favorite books that they read. 
and he put number one, the very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> and um, the thing is, is that the very hungry cat, this is true, the very hungry caterpillar was not published until he had been out of Yale for two years. <laughs> oh, and well, well, I actually it's good. I, I won't defend him. The people who say he hasn't cracked the book since college <laughs> should give him some credit. Yeah. And what about the Republican criticisms of uh, the Clinton-Gore administration? I mean, they're... What's, well, basically... Um, what's the crux, do you think, of their, of their main objection the, the to what Clinton and Gore have done? The rationale seemed to be in, uh, in Philadelphia was, sure, we have prosperity and peace, but that's kind of an accident. And also, the president uh, had sex with an intern. Mm -hmm. Right. So we want to restore uh, dignity, dignity. to right. politics, which mm -hmm. I guess is why uh, they had The Rock and Bo Derek <laughs> at, their, at their convention. I couldn't figure out any other real reason because she hasn't worked <laughs> oh, in a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was very happy to see them both. I think they're a nice pair. Yeah. The two of them. Uh, uh, the book is... Uh, is out in paperback now. You try everything when you're on at 12.30 at night for an hour. Sure. Uh, uh, yes, it is. You know, in the book, I chose Lieberman. That's right. As my running mate. This book Prussian. came out initially about, what, a year ago? Yeah, over a year ago. And, I, and in it, I run for president mm -hmm. and, and, and win, and I'm a terrible president. <laughs> and, uh, and I picked Joe Lieberman as my running mate. So you predicted the future. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm, not, I'm not a total moron. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I heard that. All right. Yes. Uh, the book, Why Not Me, is out there in paperback. Al Franken, thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. Great to have you here. We'll take a break. Judge Mills Lane coming up. Right.